Hey, what's what's up? Um, so you guys are like put down, and I have you like just just sitting there, just watching me, kind of deal. So I I was watching um Tribe Tyler earlier today or yesterday. Does that um previous vlog kind of deal? And he um he mentioned to um go watch um please subscribe on Netflix. It's um basically a documentary about YouTubers. And I've I've heard about this movie. It wasn't clear on the concept of what it was, um, exactly. But you know what? I'm here at work. I have pretty much nothing to do. I I don't know. I've told you, but I work at a hotel as a night auditor. Basically, I run numbers and stuff, and it doesn't really take me that much time to do. Um, bosses know this. They're okay with it as long as I get the necessary jobs done. So I sit here and watch YouTube videos. I think this is where it. Um, pretty much all started where I kind of like revamped, not revamped, but like restarted actually watching YouTube videos. I've done this since uh, 2007, 2008. I've always said I've always wanted to start making YouTube videos. I either want to vlog, and if I've gone, um, I've gone 30 days straight of vlogging um, back in like 2008, 2009, and I did it. Um, I think it's just a lot of things and a lot of excuses I let get in the way and stuff like that. But I'm here watching it, and Tribe Tyler is um, correct on this. I'm not even. I'm not even completely done with this. This movie. I'm 58 minutes and 39 seconds in, and at 20 minutes, I had tweeted out as I'm watching. Um, please subscribe. And it's reinvigorating. Like, it's clearing up. It's revamping. It's revamping the whole idea I have behind YouTube and stuff like that, giving me like a fresh mindset on the whole concept. And they said they said it all started with vlogs, connecting with you guys. So um, and I've already shared some information just just now. I've told you like what I do at the hotel, and you guys see me here a lot. Usually I'm wearing a tie, dress shirt and a tie, um, and I do work lots and lots of jobs. Um, I, I shared it previously um, with, but a week ago -ish, that I do work a lot. And I was talking to Lindsay, and Lindsay says I, that I do work a lot. And I was saying it's like it's all it's all part of the dream of where I want to accomplish, where I want to get. Like I need to work hard. Like for example, I need to work hard because in three weeks' time, I'm going to play this life, New Jersey. I've never been to New Jersey. I've never been to New York. I've never been to out of Florida. I'm going to cross over like seven states, and you're coming with me through this adventure. And I'm gonna have like five days off. I don't usually have five days off. So I need to work as much as possible till that point. So let me get let me get to the bigger point of this is vlogging. This is what it was. This is what it was before you sit down the camera and you talk to the camera, connect with you guys, share you guys with share share with you guys my life. And this is just gonna be a quick this is a one take right here. I haven't even cut anything. Because I'm kind of like just trying to talk to you guys because at this point, this one vlog should probably be 59, 60th vlog. I'm not even sure at this moment. I spent the past two, three days without really getting a full sleep. So right now I'm in little overdrive and I really have no idea what's going on besides the fact that I'm actually even concentrating on what the movie says it gets. Shows how much interest I have in this whole YouTube thing and how much I want to like... I guess connect with people it's not it's not it's not about the money and I tell you why it's not about the money because YouTube requires so much work like if someone actually makes it on YouTube it's because they provide an unlimited amount of work into their channel into their content into their videos I'm telling you it is not easy for someone to say that they're doing this for the money it, it's it's a lie. I mean, there's some people who start off with the idea they were doing it for the money, but the the amount of work that it takes to get to that point, it's it's huge. Like you literally have to do so much. So you really have to have a love for it in order to accomplish anything bigger than just starting starting to make it like a full time thing. So right now, um. I don't know, like, this is what I want. Um, I, I say the coffee shop, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I work at Starbucks. Um, Starbucks is actually something very interesting because um, I don't, it's not different every day. And I've told you guys I don't like routine. It's not different every day, but it's definitely something, something 
peculiar about it. Like I enjoy doing what I do. It's I'm usually closer, so I close the Starbucks and get it all wrapped up and ready for the next day. And while talking to all these different people, and I've always I've always wanted to like direct a big movie and stuff like that. I I studied film production at school, and being a being on stage for one day accepting the Academy Award be uh, it would be a huge dream of mine come true. So. Uh, uh, when I got the job at Starbucks, I said I was telling my my cousin because I talk to her a lot. Even though I think she probably doesn't listen to me, I think sometimes she really does, and she hears all my craziness and stuff like that. And I think now you guys are hearing a lot of my like open thoughts, open craziness and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not even sure if you guys are still watching because right now I'm at five minutes and forty five seconds, and I'm just rambling right now. Um, but I think it's just me clearing out my thoughts of what I'm doing. Um, so the whole Starbucks um, job um, basically fulfills that line when one goes on stage and accepts an award, an Academy Award and stuff like that. It's like, you know, I started off working since I was 14. I even worked at a coffee shop. So let's go ahead and be um, a cliche, 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 cliche. Is that, is that what something's very common? Um, I started working my butt off at a coffee shop or I was a waiter and stuff like that. I've actually been a waiter. I actually didn't last very long. I, I think I worked as a waiter for like two days and then just quit. Um, and that that that's where that ended. But the coffee shop is interesting because I'm actually talking to a lot of people. I'm able to like, you know, there's people. I work like in a touristy city, so there isn't very much common people that are coming here on a daily basis. There's like just different people all the time. And it's pretty cool to talk to them. And at this point, I think I am achieving what I wanted to achieve. And I continue to do this and I continue to grow a bigger love for it. And I think I want to get to the point where like my main channel videos do take me like 10, 20, 3 days, 4 days, 5 days, a month to give you guys one video. Because I know that good quality content takes time. And I know that because I've given... You guys, what I believe, in my opinion, was good quality content. And I know that video took me hours, days of planning. But the ones that I've been kicking out lately in that one hour to two hours. Well, not one hour to two hours. It does take me um, five, good ten hours and stuff like that. Even though it does take me a lot of time, I believe I can give you guys better. So when I say I believe I share with you guys um, previous week. Whoops. Um, no cutting. So I believe I shared with you guys previous week that that um, why compete with anybody else? Why not compete with yourself? Like why not compete with me? Like no, like me compete with me to become better than the next the last video I mean give you give you guys. So that's what I'm trying to compete with myself. Like I'm trying to compete to give you a better content than the last video I gave you last week. And I'm trying to get better at the vlogs with editing, talking, <laughs> talking to you guys is amazing. Like I'm talking to. As if there was a person right in front of me right now. And it's it's amazing. Um, right now I know that I have loyal viewers like Anna and Alvi. I think I've been able to connect with them in such a way that I never saw it coming that way. Like I never saw it possible. And I just tweeted earlier today on Twitter. I was like, I like to achieve the impossible. Try to stop me. I dare you. Because I, I like to be a little bit of a thrill seeker. I like to do things that are out of the ordinary and stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I think this is what I'm going to give you guys because I'm going to go home and crash. So I decided to give you guys a one take of what's in my mind right now. And this goes down in history at the moment that I post this. That I want to do this. I love doing this. I love being able to... I don't know, connect with people, give, make, make, be part of a content that connects with people in such a way that one did not believe to be possible. Like, I love being on a movie set. I love talking to people on Twitter. I love talking to new people from around the world. I love traveling, all that stuff of just connecting with people from around the world. Travel, adventures, it's... It's all part of the dream. And I tell you guys, hard work, that you are going to cross a path where you're all stressed out. Stressed out. And 
don't feel like that's a bad point in your life or a low point in your life. That may be the highest, not the highest, but like it's a, that's the climax of your life because you're climbing this hill for something bigger. Like I said, it's all part of the dream. Guys, thank you guys so much for listening. I really appreciate you listening right now. And yeah, thank you for listening. Whoa, talk about a one take. This is actually, I think, my first one take. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and listened in and all of my mumbo jumbo. Guys, make sure to check out my previous vlog. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that awesome stuff down below. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you watching.